Object snap tracking. Object tra snap tracking has two requirements. Number one, our object snap needs to be turned on. Number two, we need to hover over our selection point long enough so we can acquire a point. We'll learn more about advanced object track uh, advanced object snap tracking later on in later videos. But since both the object snap is turned on and the object snap tracking is turned on by default, we want to learn how to use this basic tool. So first I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose the line command. I'm going to grab onto it by this endpoint with that object snap marker. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to hover over this point and I want to hover over it until I get this green dotted line. That green dotted line is our object snap tracking. Now I can move my cursor up the green dotted line until I get to a horizontal line. At that point I can pick and now I have a line that's exactly the length and I'll hit enter, I have a line that's exactly the length of this line down here. So object snap tracking uh, is on by default and I need to have my object snap on, I need to start a, a command and then I have to hover over the acquired point long enough for it to acquire and when it acquires it it'll generate that green tracking line, that object snapping tracking line so it will provide an alignment path in which you can drag it up and snap into your position. So that's object snap tracking.